Welcome back to Clarifying Your Niche. This is lesson three, narrowing down and standing out. As TPT sellers in the beginning, we make a lot of mistakes, and that's okay because that's how we learn. But I'm here to help you bypass a lot of those mistakes so you can take your business straight from something basic to brilliant. Now, the top two mistakes I see new sellers make when it comes to finding your niche is one, they fiercely compete with other sellers with either the exact same or almost similar product. Or number two, they try to speak to everyone instead of narrowing down and finding their niche. I want to take you back to that science example where I talked about how I made a science product as my first niche. Now, while that isn't something I was knowledgeable at, I was on the right track by choosing science because back then when I started, science wasn't big on TPT. There weren't as many science materials as there were math and science or math and language arts and things like that. So I was on the right track by thinking and finding a need in a market, but it wasn't something I was passionate about and could do long term. So let's talk about how you find your niche and narrow it. We're going to discuss narrowing down your niche, standing out, disrupting the market, and the brilliant blueprint for finding your niche. Let's take a look at this brilliant bit of info. No one ever made a difference by being like everyone else. I want you to be the unicorn and stand out. Here's what I mean by that. You found your niche. Congratulations. Now I want you to narrow it. TPT has been going strong for many years. There are thousands and thousands of successful sellers and each year it gets more saturated. I hope you can be a successful seller too and I'm here to make that happen by helping you make your business stand out. And to do that, the first step is narrowing your niche. I don't want you to add to the madness. I want you to find something unique. For example, let's say you decide to be second grade as your niche because you're a second grade teacher. So that just makes sense. But that market is very saturated on TPT. So you need to narrow it down any, even more and you decide on second grade math. Well, that too might be a little crowded. So you land on second grade math centers as your niche and you're going to be anything and everything to do with second grade math centers and you're going to find a new and creative way to show that idea. I want you to be the unicorn and stand out. I want you to be unique. Be the unique unicorn. Find your own success. Don't chase after someone else's. Find that unique niche that isn't saturated and that needs your knowledge, your passion, and your interests. To stand out, you have to do something that's called being an industry disruptor and disrupt the market. There are several different ways to do this. Number one, you can replace a service in a better way. A great example of this is Uber. Now we already had a great way to get from point A to point B when we didn't have a car. You could get a taxi, you could look online and rent a car, or you could use public transportation. But Uber thought, hey, I've got an idea to do this from getting point A to point B without a car in a cheaper, faster, and more reliable way. And they created Uber. And now that is something that a lot of people use. It has changed transportation drastically. And we already thought that problem had been solved. And it had, but Uber solved it better. I want you to provide a service in a simpler and cheaper way, like how Uber did it, or create a new audience. My favorite example of this is when teachers in 2020 all of a sudden had to do virtual learning. Now, we didn't give ourselves that audience. We didn't create it ourselves. It was handed to us, for better or for worse. But it created a new audience. And all of a sudden, technology and virtual learning lessons were very important. Whereas before, if you created them, that was great, but they didn't sell as well as your other lessons. But all of a sudden, we have this new audience of people that needed virtual and distance learning lessons. And now that teachers are familiar with technology, they're a lot easier to sell because teachers know how to use them. So that's an example of how a new audience was created. Can you think of a way you can create a new audience to help your niche stand out? 
double down on customer service. Now this isn't a way that is going to help your niche exactly, but it is a way that's gonna help you stand out. For example, there are many clip artists I love to use on TPT. I love to use those clip artists because when I email them or ask them a question, they're very prompt in responding. Whether it's the answer I want or not, I appreciate that they give me time and listen to my concerns. And that makes me want to keep coming back to them. So I want you to make sure that when you get questions on TPT or you have someone leave feedback, that you are doubling down on that customer service and that you are doing it kindly, respectfully, and quickly. Be honest about your product. No one wants to be told that they are getting a set of math centers that say are print and ready to go when really it takes the teacher 30, 40, 60 minutes to put together. So be honest about what you're selling. It's okay to sell those centers that take a lot of time to put together. Just know, just make sure your audience knows that up front. And define a promise. Just like we were saying before, when you're being honest, if you're making a promise to say, this is a print and play activity, that it really does just print and play. So in your niche, define what your promise is to your audience. What are you giving them and what problem are you solving? And promise them that result so that they will come to you time and time again. Now I have a brilliant blueprint and what that is, is it's like a framework or like a roadmap on how you can find your niche. It's This blueprint is gonna help you go from point A to point B and finding your success and finding your niche market and audience. Let's go over this brilliant blueprint for finding your niche. This is how you're going to stand out. You're going to find a problem to solve. You're going to combine that with your passions and your interests to define value for your audience. Once you define the value, you need to be unique. You need to be the unicorn so that you can stand out. Then you're going to disrupt the market, whether that means you're going to solve a problem in a better way, a cheaper way, a faster way, whatever it is, disrupt the market. Keep it simple so that your audience wants to use it and come to you over and over again. Define that promise. Be honest about what you offer, and then you will have your niche. So I want you to make sure that after this lesson, you have a definitive niche in mind. Because in the next lesson, we're going to be talking about how you're going to use that niche to build a vision and goals for the future to build your business.